Welcome everybody. The Sky River RV Show is here for you. Doggone it, what a great day it is. What a beautiful place this is. Look how neat and tidy and orderly. Every coach is unlocked. Every coach is the door is open and the slide outs are out. And when you go to big dealers down in the cities, they're crammed in together. There's no room to walk around. Gravel, environmentally a little bit sounder than more asphalt. That's the point of this thing. But look at these units. These are all class A's. Obviously, these are Cougars going down this way. Montana's back over there. Carbon's back over there. A huge, high quality inventory. Let me point out a couple of them. We have a Pursuit. Short, 27 foot Class A. A Coachman, another one, short, Class A. A Newmar, 32, kind of more of the traditional size of a Class A motorhome. Now these are gas. Winnebago by Atasca, again, short. You didn't used to be able to find Class A motorhomes this short, but multiple brands, Coachman and Winnebago and Newmars and all kinds of them. And we have literally a hundred or more to choose from at our three locations. Now today we happen to be in Paso Robles, our main location, but it's the idea of how clean and neat and tidy and orderly and intelligent our people are because it matters to us, our community matters to us. The number one selling fifth wheel, 24 feet, 25, 34, 33, all different lengths, all different models for you to choose from. Most people give you the impression that somehow or other the monthly payment is the key to what you're going to be using this thing for for the next multiple years. It isn't. Our prices and our monthly payments are as competitive as anybody else's in America. It's the same thing dollars wise. It is not the same thing quality wise. If you want a quality dealer with quality products and opportunity to choose different floor plans, different color combinations, the most impressive, the highest quality travel trailer in the world, Airstream. Well, there's only one place to come, and it's the Sky River RV. Paso Robles is our main store. We have a store in Pismo Beach, and we have a store now down in Buellton. But no matter which one you come to, you can choose from the inventory of any one of the three, and we can get it for you and help put it in you. Help you, <coughs> help you to be in it. That didn't make any sense. Help you in it. There you go. So, we better go off and find out what today's program is about, and then I'll see you at the close. Sky River RV is the Central Coast premier RV dealer offering sales, service, and parts to the Central Coast for decades. Along the way, we've grown, and now we're seeking talented people to work in the best environment around. Sky River RV is seeking the best and most talented people to enhance our teams and benefit our customers. We are now hiring salespeople, service technicians and advisors, and parts counter people. Our employees don't just come to work, they stay for a career. So if you're looking for a great career with a good, well-established company, you owe it to yourself and Sky River RV to apply at this address employed at skyriverrv.com. If you're looking for an RV, don't limit your choices. Come to Sky River RV, where we have over 300 coaches for you to discover and explore. At Sky River RV, we have the largest selection of high-quality travel trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes. We carry only quality brands like Airstream, Coachman, Newmar, Cougar, and Winnebago, just to name a few. And along with this incredible selection, we also have the best prices. If you're looking or even just curious about an RV, come to Sky River RV. 
Have you seen the latest Sky River RV show? Not only are we sharing what's going on in the world of RVs, we'll also take you to the best local events. Join us as we discover the fun on the Central Coast. The Sky River RV show on Charter Channel 10 and Comcast Channel 27. Hi everybody. Hey, we're uh, back at another section uh, here, a segment at Sky River RV, and I'm standing in front of a Winnebago Itasca Series Cambria. And this is a B plus coach, so we're adding to our goal for diversifying some media for you today. And I'm featuring a really well done B plus coach, nice aerodynamic cap, you can see it behind me. And uh, this coach is full body paint, and there's a lot of interesting aspects to the floor plan in the, on the inside, so I do want to show you that in just a minute. But uh, check out the look of this coach. Alcoa rims, nice chrome features on the mirrors, full body paint. It's in a great color array. I like the silver, white, gray combination on this coach. And there's a lot going on here. There's even side shooter cameras on the end of the mirrors. So you're really gonna love what you see in this coach. It's unique, it's got an amazing dinette, and it just makes me think back to all the great camping trips I've had in my own family, thinking back to even things like firefalls in uh, the Sierras, something that used to happen but isn't happening uh, anymore for uh, environmental reasons, but something that I remember in my past as a camper. And I hope that you guys are using some of the products that you see to come in and buy them and get out and see what our parks have to offer, a lot of amazing memories, and do some things for your family and get out there and have some fun. So now let's take a look on the inside of this nice Cambria by Winnebago. Okay guys, so let's check out what's going on on the inside of this coach. And one of the first things to point out is right here by the door, and we'll get a shot of this in a minute, is the convenience center that's within reach as you first enter this coach. So the on-off switch for the house batteries is down here on the bottom. And the coach is now powered up and it can also be easily powered down when it's gonna sit uh, in storage in between trips. Just above that is um, the leveling controls on this coach. So unique to this B Plus would be um, some levelers that are not common, and, and the main reason they're not common is the narrowness of the chassis rail and the proximity to the ground. So most Class C's, and this is a slight variation on a Class C, it's a B plus with the cap that um, is now cabinets behind me here. And what goes with that is the convenience of being in a little bit more of a luxury coach the convenience of leveling that a lot of customers are used to in an A class of coach, you're able to accomplish that with this B plus. And the benefit there is to have a level bed opportunity and also to make sure that the refrigerator is as efficient as it could possibly be when it's on the propane mode. And uh, so this does have that upgrade. Um, there's a lot of more things going on on this coach as well. I've already pivoted around the passenger's front seat. So socially it adds to being able to sit and uh, hang with your buddies. There's a booster seat for these two seats and one slight difference here in this coach is there's about a four inch um, floor level adjustment here. This does add to some storage capabilities on the outside. I'm 6'2 with a hat on and you can see I'm still okay. Inside the coach there's a bit of a radius crown on the inside so there's a little more uh, headliner comfort. And so there's booster pads that go on this seat that gives you the elevation that would make you a little bit more comfortable instead of feeling like your legs go straight to the floor. So um, Winnebago thought of that in the Itasca series to give you a little bit more comfort. I don't have that booster in there, but it uh, is in one of the storage cabinets. We can show that a little bit later. Um, both seats do spin around. And then uh, in the front cap, because they went aerodynamic for the style and gas efficiency, if you will, they've chosen to go all media and cabinetry. The media is immediately across from the seats. We'll see that in just a minute. And a lot of storage cabinets to utilize the space that's up here in front. Some of the technology was placed up here in front as well. So we have a HDMI Sony deck here to feed the media into the TV and you can add Blu-ray, can add game consoles. There's a lot of connectivity capability here. And then a switch console that helps you pick between the media sources that you happen to be running. 
Um, as I mentioned, it's a pretty nicely placed media coach, so we've got these, uh, this amazing love seat. To me, it does a lot of, uh, of things pretty comfortably. It's power seat, so you can move the seat around, change the back angle, get to a little bit more of a recline and comfort. It has a leg support. Both sides do this. I've just brought this one up so you can see it easily. And um, the release for this is pretty easy to get to. It's right here underneath this catch. So you just pull this out and here comes your next leg lift for whoever might want that. It's pretty uh, well placed and well engineered. And it's comfortable and it's solid. So you got a power recline feature on both sides of the love seat directly across from the TV screen. And that's right here. It's a nice LG monitor. So another really great feature about this coach is the length of the counter space over here. It's about a six foot counter and of course you have sink covers to um, add to the usable space and I've got um, nice stainless steel sinks, large basins for doing dishes and cleanup, meal prep, and then the ability to cover it all in and make it a, a nice flat surface. There's a really large Whirlpool microwave in this coach. It is convection as well since we don't have a propane oven in this coach. Okay, and so beneath this cover is the range top as well. I'm just gonna move these pieces over to the side. There's numerous places they could go in storage. And um, generally the forward burner is a high efficiency burner, just a little bit uh, quicker cook capability if someone needed it, and then the back two for simmer. It's a three burner cooktop that's pretty common in RVs today and um, you know information center as well Winnebago is typically trying to place most of their technology in one location if it isn't directly at the door it's usually in a general uh, or I should say in a single location so you've got um, energy controls here information um, gen start and stop it's pretty nicely placed and uh, slide room control just above that clearly marked makes it easy an additional technology feature on this coach is this new um, King or Jack antenna. It's uh, uh, you have the ability to check signal strength with LEDs rather than trying to watch the monitor get clear. You just uh, turn the antenna with this knob until the maximum number of LEDs light up. It's a pretty nice, uh, simple antenna, and it doesn't have a crank up feature, so you don't have to go up and down and remember where the um, the arm needs to be in the down position. It uh, doesn't have a pivoting capability other than the internal knob. We have a pretty decent bathroom space in this coach as well. There's a, a fairly diagonalized uh, shower component in this that gives you a lot of room. This is a fairly nice diagonalized shower enclosure and this has more of what you consider to be a residential shower wand in it with uh, some flow capabilities that's pretty nice and it's got a nice skylight dome for somebody tall like me 6'2". There's a curtain rod in here right now that comes out of course for when you're showering but this is a place where a lot of people use that to hang additional wardrobe items in travel for longer trips. Okay, so as we progress to the back of this coach, here's a really nice Norcold um, double-sided refrigerator freezer. And this is the you know typical RV three-way fridge. Um, there has been some interest recently in residential refrigerators. They do take additional equipment, um, usually inverters and some more house batteries to provide the power. Um, it's still an option. You have your ability to go residential if you prefer it and or the typical RV fridge that's three-way and can run on propane if you uh, may get into some situations where you're not connected to electricity and chose not to run your gen set. So I like the capacity in this double door fridge freezer for longer trips. Makes meal planning a little bit easier on uh, whoever is the designated chef in the family. All right, here's kind of the meat of this coach, what I, what I think is the favorite part of this coach for me. Number one is it's got a drop-down bed. This kind of has come into the industry with um, some history back to toy haulers where the beds drop down. I've already activated this, so we're going to go ahead and bring this bed down. And what you're doing is splitting this space, so you're creating a bunk environment. These are really large beds. Again, you're going the majority of the width of a coach that's pushing eight feet wide on the outside, so the inside bedding can be lengthy and, and comfortable. So that's one really uh, major plus in this coach. 
And uh, some people like to think that you can just, you know, not make the bed and make it disappear back up into the headliner. I might be one of those guys. And so that's a nice way to tuck that away, get it out of the way. And then there's a clip over here from a safety standpoint that prevents this from any kind of a possible drop down. I left it disconnected, but it's just a feature that adds value to the coach. Um, I've also got this bed already set up here. So what's really nice about this is this is an easy conversion back to seating and dining. So bed number two, really large, super comfortable. And then there, to restore this back to a, uh, I love see it's pretty simple to just move the padding slide this back and now I've got a really nice place to hang out play a game and even have a meal they thought of everything even by having a quick fold-out tabletop here so I've got a great way to play some cards have a meal and just hang back and chill. There's also another TV monitor back here for anybody that's just hanging at this end of the coach. You can have media in the front. You can watch a di different program back here at the back. So this is really nice. In addition to the convenience of the power on off switch, they even did an LED lit uh, USB port here. When I hit the whole house power, blue light comes on. I know I'm activated and have hot power as soon as you throw the switch. So a little thing, but convenient. This is an amazing coach. We have a lot of choices at Sky River RV. Um, come down and find the variety that works best for you. Don't miss out on the camping opportunities that are out there for you and your family. Come and see us, find something nice. You'll be glad you did. I'm Mark, come and see me at Sky River RV when you get a chance. What's easy to drive and park gets up to 24 miles to the gallon and allows you to get a second home tax break? It's the Class B Van Camper and Sky River RV has the best selection of Class B Van Campers on the Central Coast. Featuring brands like Airstream, Winnebago, and Road Track. And not only do we have the best selection of the highest quality Van Campers, we offer the best prices. If you're interested in or even curious about a Class B Van Camper, do yourself a favor and come to Sky River RV. Attention, attention, the oldest RV dealership on the Central Coast is at it again. Sky River RV in Paso Robles has made a massive purchase of new trailers, fifth wheels, Class C and Class A motorhomes. It's the largest selection of RVs in our history. Sky River RV has teamed up with the manufacturers to save you tens of thousands of dollars. Save $30,000 on a Coachman Freelander. New trailers and fifth wheels with ten dollars to $20,000 off. And when these buys are gone, they are gone. Get to Sky River RV in Paso Robles next to Target. Okay, we're going to use Ryan to demonstrate putting the stinger into the truck so that I can talk and explain to you as we go along instead of trying to do two things at the same time. Ryan, go ahead and uh, start that up, please. Now, Ryan's been with us a couple of years, and he's uh, a little bit of everything. He's really a nice young man. He does a walkthrough. Show, the, show that pin. That goes, slides into place, okay? And that locks the stinger, which is the big part he just put in there. And then he puts the clip in to make sure it's going to stay there. And that's really all there is to that part of it. The next part of it, is obviously, is to back the truck underneath on the side here and drop the ball down into place. So that's what we'll do next. Go ahead and fire the truck up and bring it into place. Now, hooking up a trailer like this, whether it's a horse trailer or a any other kind of trailer is a little trickier than, than a fifth wheel because you can't see the ball and the trailer very well. So two, two people is really valuable. Now folks, we have the stinger, which we showed you how to slide into place. Now, like I say, with a travel trailer, it really is more helpful to have two people. There are folks who can do it by themselves, but it's really nice to have two people. So we have the stinger tied into place. We have a travel trailer right here, but probably not high enough, okay? So you can have, and I would buy, an electric jack that goes motors up and down. You don't have to crank. But in this case, we'll have to crank it up because uh, I'm old and I can do it. But I still would have an electric motor. 
This is my truck, by the way, which is the same truck that we had hooked up for the fifth wheel. So once you get the process, you can have your truck tow a fifth wheel if you want, set up for a trailer if you want, set up for a camper and put it a camper in a shell. It's all really the same idea. So once you got the truck set up, then you can do whatever you want to do. So I still got Ryan to help him out here. And so Ryan, come on back in. Fire it up. We have to turn it on and off because it's the diesel. So again, he's just going to back it straight into place. And it's nice to get it close like this, getting in and out to make sure you want to go. So come on back, Ryan. He's going to come into place. Whoa. Just a little more. See, it just barely fits. Right there. Now I'm going to crank it down. Whoop, wrong way. Crank it down. And it has to fit all the way on. Take all the weight off, making sure the blocks in this arm pull all the way up on top. Now when you crank it up like that and it sits down, then you're going to lock this piece forward, uh, shake the truck a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you would lock this piece down and you remember this pin faces up and plugs into place. Then you have your chains and they lock into these clips right like that. Then your safety goes underneath as well. Now your safety, as I explained before, is just in case that one or the other may turn over or something like that, it'll pull apart so that it doesn't hurt both of them, okay? Your truck is heavier, so if there's any danger, this is gonna release and plug away. This is called a stinger. This piece slides into place. You put a pin through it. You put your plug in, right into here, as we did exactly the same as we did on the fifth wheel. The chains go in and on down here, and you're set up. Now, this doesn't look like a regular trailer hitch because it has the potential of an equalizer weight distributing hitch that might go on here. The service department can determine for you if you need those kinds of things. And the reason we're not hooking it all up is we're not trying to confuse everybody. We're trying to make this, you know, 101 trailer and 101 fifth wheel for those folks that haven't done it before. So we're not trying to overcomplicate it. The service department can explain and help you through the whole process. Even if you're the most experienced RVer, there may be new products out there for which uh, you don't know about, so the service department can do that. So. Now we're going to unhook it and put it back to where it was. So you're going to crank this arm down. It's always nice to have wooden blocks down below you instead of going into the concrete or asphalt on a hot day because it might sink into the asphalt on a hot day. That's really important. And always the different heights. The trailer and the truck still have to be in a level situation. So the kind of stinger you have even is very important. And again, I would have a motorized thing here instead of that. Okay, Ryan, would you fire it up and pull out, please? Good, right there. Okay, so to reverse the action, because Ryan put it in for us, but to reverse the action, all you do is pull this pin out Pull this piece out, take your stinger, and you're done. So this is the hitch and a stinger that goes with the trailer.
Sky River RV is the Central Coast premier RV dealer offering sales, service, and parts to the Central Coast for decades. Along the way, we've grown, and now we're seeking talented people to work in the best environment around. Sky River RV is seeking the best and most talented people to enhance our teams and benefit our customers. We are now hiring salespeople, service technicians and advisors, and parts counter people. Our employees don't just come to work, they stay for a career. So if you're looking for a great career with a good, well-established company, you owe it to yourself and Sky River RV to apply at this address. Employed at SkyRiverRV.com. If you're looking for an RV, don't limit your choices. Come to Sky River RV where we have over 300 coaches for you to discover and explore. At Sky River RV, we have the largest selection of high quality travel trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes. We carry only quality brands like Airstream, Coachman, Newmar, Cougar, and Winnebago, just to name a few. And along with this incredible selection, we also have the best prices. If you're looking or even just curious about an RV, come to Sky River RV. Attention, attention, the oldest RV dealership on the Central Coast is at it again. Sky River RV in Paso Robles has made a massive purchase of new trailers, fifth wheels, Class C and Class A motorhomes. It's the largest selection of RVs in our history. Sky River RV has teamed up with the manufacturers to save you tens of thousands of dollars. Save $30,000 on a Coachman Freelander. New trailers and fifth wheels with ten dollars to $20,000 off. And when these buys are gone, they are gone. Get to Sky River RV in Paso Robles next to Target. You know, our gang is always so informative that these shows are so much fun to watch because you have a good time and you learn something about the products and you learn something about the sales staff. So, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm standing in front of a Durango by KZ. Kind of a new line to us. They've been around quite some time and they have 1500s, they have 2500s, they have golds, they have all kinds of different sizes and models and upgrades within the system. And our stores individually carry quite a few of them. And then of course, then we have three stores. So this is a 25 footer, which in today's world is kind of a short fifth wheel. But if you want something else, we have it. Now in our opening, I showed you Cougars. Cougars and a Montana way down at the end. Those are the number one and number two selling travel trailers, fifth wheels in the world. KG gives you an opportunity to look at something different, to look at a little bit different floor plan, a little bit different idea. Even the lighting system here is a little bit different than everybody else's. So it gives you really good quality, modestly priced, products that you get to decide from a Montana to a Cougar to a KZ. That's what you get. Hundreds and hundreds of units to choose from, all available to you in one location, Sky River location, no matter which one you go to, because all the inventory is available to you from each of our stores. So go crazy. Come in, sit down, get a glass of water, drive around the golf cart, have fun, because it's the key to it. You're RVing, you know, have fun. Shouldn't be in any ties. Take the tie, wrap them up, throw them in the fire. It'll be gone forever. And you can have fun. We want you to enjoy the best days of your life, no matter how old you are. Come to Sky River RV. And thanks for watching our show.